Hi, this is Brown Barton, Relocation Program Manager here at Fort Riley Canyons, home of the Big Red One. Coming to you today live on a special edition here at the Education Service, where today we're going to tell you all about the nine colleges that are here on Fort Riley, that they're here, and the subject matter experts are going to talk you through the entire process as far as what each college has for you when you arrive here. You can do your own research and find out for yourself. And uh, so, let's get the party started. Okay, at this time, I'm going to introduce you to our Education Service Officer. Good morning. I'm Shirley Ferguson, Education Services Officer for Fort Valley, here in uh, Building 211 on Custer Avenue. We have nine colleges here on the installation. We occupy the space of um, Building 217 and 215 for college courses, and currently we are having another building renovated with eight additional college uh, classrooms uh, for our college courses. So at this moment, I would like to introduce Ms. Monica Smith, who is our Education Services Specialist, who will be taking you around and show off the facility. Hello, let me uh, go ahead and get you started on this tour so you can see all of our nine colleges and what programs we have to offer here. Here we have Barton Community College and they offer a wide variety of associate programs and they also have a great deal for you. They have, offer an LSEC program, Leader Skill Enhancement Courses is what the title is, and I'll let Ashley Anderson talk to you a little bit more about what that entails for you. Okay, this is one of the most important things we have to talk about today. It's because it's all about when the new spouses show up here at Fort Riley, one of the most important things that we push on everybody and want you to fully understand it's all about the programs that they offer you to further your civilian education. So at this time, we'll turn it over to Dean Anderson to tell you all about the program. Hi, everyone. I am Ashley Anderson, the Dean here at Barton Community College, Fort Riley. Uh, I am in charge of all the military academic services. So I'm in charge of all the classes and instruction, um, any student service issues. We have a couple of very unique uh, programs that we offer. One is called LSEC. This is a daytime program. It is for spouses. It is for active duty. It is for vets. It is for retirees. It is for DOD employees and their children. Uh, basically, if you have any affiliation with Fort Riley, then you can take these classes. What is important about these classes that you must know, they are fully scholarshiped at no cost to you, including the books. The books are loaned out to you on day one, and then you return them on the last day of class. So you can get an associate's degree with us in a year, a year and a half, by taking classes with us at no cost to you. And we are in what are called two plus two programs. So our classes will transfer to K-State, they will transfer to Upper Iowa. They will transfer to a multitude of uh, four-year colleges out there that all have the regional accreditation, as we do. Um, we also have a night program, which is called Night College Program. That is open to the public. And so we open it up to Junction City, Manhattan, anybody in the area. It's also open to soldiers. We do get a lot of active duty that will come in. They use TA for those classes. Uh, and that the book in those classes is also at no cost. And we also offer online services. Um, any of these services, you can come on down and see us here on Main Post. We are on the second floor and set up, a, uh, definitely set up a time to meet with an advisor. They will help you with whatever you're looking to study or even in a four year, we can help get your, your general education requirements done at no cost to you. And then you can transfer onto a four-year school and hopefully on further. Um, so, you know, we, we try to get the word out everywhere we can to, again, spouses, family members, retirees, active duty, obviously. This is a program that um, is very unique. It is only seen in two places, here in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, and I'm also the dean there too. 
Um, nowhere else in Kansas or in the United States offers a program like we offer. So if you're here, please take advantage of this. If you have a spouse on deployment, this is a perfect time. Get some classes knocked out while they're on deployment. If you, you know, if you're bored and sort of have nothing else to do, come see us and, and we'll get you headed in the right direction. So it was good to talk to everybody. And again, my name is Dean Ashley Anderson, uh, but we have a huge staff here that are all willing to talk to you and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Okay, I have a couple of questions I wanna ask you. Sure. Okay. Um, from social media, mm -hmm. we've been we get all the time in the questions. One of them was about uh, the LSAT class, as far as you said at no cost, mm -hmm. but they're saying they've had spouses that we've read before and have complained a lot, saying they are paying for certain things, and that's not true, is it? That, that, they're not paying for anything. Nothing during LSAT, during the day, the day classes, they are paying not one dime. Great. See, I, love, I love myth busting, so that's, I love to hear from you. Not a dime. Not a dime. Uh, also, uh, the classes, the time frames. Yes. Now, that's a big thing for spouses that are coming here because yes. they don't have transportation. And, and so they're only held at daytime or? So our classes are not, here in Fort Riley and, and Fort Leavenworth, are not a traditional 17-week semester. These are six-and-a-half-week classes. Uh, they are Monday through Friday, every day, for an hour and a half. And that's why you can knock out an associate's degree in about a year if you take two to three classes per what we call cycle. We, have, we run seven cycles every year. So, um, and, and we pretty much are running year round. We take off about three weeks for uh, the holidays in December. Other than that, summer classes, everything. We have all of it. Okay. So there's no online part of this course right now? Well, for, LSAT. for the LSAT courses, what happens is they all have, the students will all have what's called a course shell. And they will do a lot of homework assignments on the computer. They will do, um, if it's English, they'll do some essays and submit them. Uh, that's where they see their grades. So that part, you know, they'll do, if it's math, they might do some tests, stuff like that. Um, but we have a, a strictly online program, but that's not part of LSEC. That's a different program we have. So if a spouse is sitting at home right now, mm -hmm. coming here to Fort Riley, and they, they, they've watched this show and they're, they want to do a little research on this, mm -hmm. What would be the best way? What's, what does LSEC stand for? And where would they go to research? Okay, so LSEC is Leadership Skill Enhancement Classes. Um, and where would they research it? You can go to bartonccc.edu and there is actually a tab at the bottom that says Fort Riley. Click on Fort Riley. You don't want to look at the home page because our home our home base is in Great Bend, Kansas, and they're traditional, the traditional semesters. You want to look at specifically what Fort Riley has to offer, and we put our schedules up, you know, what we're offering. Um, we're actually starting a brand new cycle next Thursday, um, and right now, if you want to come down and enroll in some classes that start next Thursday, please do. We have enrollment open until uh, November 1st, so come on down. And all of our staff know exactly our LSEC program is huge, so you can talk to any of our staff. You can also talk to the Education Center. All their counselors know our LSEC programs very, very well and you know will we'll bring us a lot of students. So either the Education Center, which is on the other side of the building, or just come on up to Barton and say, I saw this video and I want to learn more. We've got lots of flyers, handouts, everything, and we can get you set up. Okay, so another question I would have for you is, if somebody's coming here, a spouse is coming here, and they're wanting their transcripts evaluated, do you guys do that? Can you explain a little bit about that for us? Sure, absolutely. So for any international students that are coming over and need to have their transcripts, we always require transcripts to be sent over. What happens is they will send those to World Education Services. 
World Education Services will actually transcribe, translate um, that transcript for us so we can then evaluate it. Um, they will evaluate it and then, so, and then um, give it back to you as a student. You will then either walk it into our office, you can send it to us however you want to. That way, once World Education Services has done their part, we can evaluate it for transfer credits and then we will transfer whatever we're able to transfer. Thank you so much. I know that's gonna answer a lot of people's questions right sure. there. Uh, also, so just so everybody knows, English as a second language is offered here on Fort Riley. Uh, the Army, Army Community Service is also required to have this program as far as our accreditation. We work with Barton College for English as a second language because they offer the classes so much here in Fort Riley. Mm -hmm. So if you would please we talk a little bit about that. Sure. Thank you. So just like our LSAT classes, we offer English as a second language. Uh, as a class, we offer it all year. Um, it starts and ends on the same days as our typical LSAC cycles. We typically offer it d during lunch, uh, around 11.30 to 13.00 or 12.00 to 13.30, around that time frame. You do get credit for it. Um, and it is for all different languages. This is, we're not talking about just Spanish or French. Um, we have a very talented instructor who has has taught all sorts of different languages in this class. And so, yes, we absolutely offer this. I would encourage anyone who's interested in it to either come to us at Barton or go to the Education Center because the Education Center knows all about our ESL program and they will help get you enrolled in our classes. But yes, it's offered year round. Um, we've got a lot of space for spouses or whoever you know wants to take it. Once in a while we will have some active duty um, and, and that again is at no cost. Okay, we have K-State University. They offer a certificate in airframe and power plant here on post. You can also uh, talk to uh, Dominic about attending classes at their main campus just right down the road in Manhattan for bachelor's and master's programs as well. But for right now, I'll let Dominic Barnes talk to you a little bit more about his AMP certification. Good morning, Dominic. All right, so uh, as I said, I'm, I'm Dominic Barnes. I am uh, a military student services coordinator for Kansas State University. Uh, we serve uh, military community on campus, on post, and online. On Fort Riley, we have the airframe and power plant certificate program, which prepares aviation maintenance soldiers to take the FAA exam, uh, which is uh, coordinated and offered on our Salina campus. Uh, the classes are here on post on Fort Riley on Tuesdays and Thursdays. There are eight weeks. And uh, once you're done with the courses, you're ready to take the test. Okay, now we would like to take you into Central Michigan University to talk about their master's programs with Ezra Mills. Good morning, Ezra. Hi, good morning. Hi, my name is Ezra Mills. I am new here too, just arrived here in Fort Riley two weeks ago, but I'm the new Assistant Director of Enrollment I'm here at Central Michigan University on Fort Riley, and I'm here for you if you are interested in your bachelor's degree or your master's. Here on Fort Riley, we offer a master's in science um, of administration with a lot of different concentrations. If you're interested in leadership or anything else, we have so much to offer. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Bye. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take you into Upper Iowa University so that you can speak to Mr. Tony Lippitt. Tony? Hi, Monica. Can you talk about your services? Yes, good day. My name is Tony Lippitt. Welcome to Peacock Nation. I'm with Upper Iowa University at the Fort Riley Center. Upper Iowa University has been at Fort Riley since 1992 and currently we offer over seven degree plans. We have at least six sessions a year, and we have generally about 10 classes going on any given session. In addition to our colleges that we have here on post, we also have the opportunity to provide financial aid assistance for you as well. We have three representatives here. Mr. Ray Cruz is our main coordinator. He comes here on Mondays and Wednesdays by appointment. But in addition to that, on Thursdays, we have either Myrna Perkins or Letitia White here that can also assist you in filling out 
for your regular FAFSA financial aid per school year and for any scholarship opportunities you might be interested in as well. Let's go ahead and introduce, here we have Letitia White. Hello, I'm Letitia White. I am the Program Support Specialist for Financial Aid and a Compliance Officer. Um, I assist financial aid students with their appeals, their academic plans, and any additional assistance they may need. I also come here on Fort Riley's on Thursdays to fill in when our financial aid director is not here so that we can provide financial aid assistance to the students here on Fort Riley. Okay. Here we have Hutchinson Community College. Today, uh, Mr. Walter Horowitz could not be here, but he does offer nursing certification. So if you're interested in CNA, CNA, FAVRB, Pharmacy Tech, or LPN programs, this will be the place to come to see him to talk about that. Next, we would like to talk to University of Mary, Ms. Mary Byington. We'll talk to you about the master's programs they have available. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Hello. My name is Mary Byington, and I'm the student representative and success advisor for the University of Mary here at Fort Riley. We've been part of the education consortium for, since 2006, and we offer a in-classroom MBA. Our MBA is accelerated. It takes about 15 months to complete. Each class is about five weeks apiece. And then um, it is available to our veterans, our service members, DOD civilians, and all their family members. Okay, so what you're telling me also is, if I heard right, is that mm -hmm. DA civilians are authorized to come here and go through these classes? They are, yes. Have you had some getting now? I do. Now? I have three. I have two in the classroom and one online, and I just graduated two this last, this last summer. Awesome. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure they'll let us know that. Uh, I like this. Mary from Mary. It it's awesome. Great. Yeah. It's great. Thank you for your time <laughs> Thank today. you, sir. We offer Southwestern College. Unfortunately, Michelle Hazelton couldn't be here today. They focus on a degree in Homeland Security, and they also have a bachelor's degree in security management here on post. But they do also offer a variety of different programs that you can do online. So it would be advisable if you could come in, talk to her, get a little bit more information about what all they can do for you. Here we have the University of Kansas, and they offer a certificate in entrepreneurship. You just have to take three short courses. They do an intro to entrepreneurship, a financing your business, and a marketing your business. Once you complete those three classes, you will earn a certificate. Mr. Wall Walter Myers is available on Wednesday evenings, and uh, you can come to the Education Center and you get his contact information. Next, we have Central Texas College. And if you're not the real traditional college student, this might be an opportunity for you. They do a lot of hands-on vocational training, and I will take you in to talk to Ms. Anda Arms so she can talk to you a little bit more about their programs. Okay, my name is Anda Arms. I'm the director for Central Texas College here at Fort Riley. Of the nine colleges, we offer vocational programs here at Fort Riley. Uh, we offer seven programs. We have an automotive program, welding program, computer electronics program, criminal justice, business management, general studies, and a child development. Um, we offer five terms per year. We have eight week terms. We have 31 programs available online for students. Right now, we are at 225 per credit hour online. We're at 200 per credit hour on site. And if you are a Texas resident, we are at $108 per credit hour for Texas residents. Um, our office hours here are Monday through Thursday, 7.30 to 5.30, and Fridays we're open 8 to noon. We do accept Army tuition assistance, the MyCAA grant for military spouses. We offer financial aid FAFSA, and we also accept VA educational benefits. Okay, wait, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, one question, though. Can you tell us the ratio right now that you have, how many students, the breakdown between soldiers and spouses and civilians and some of that information for us? Absolutely. Right now we're at 110 uh, students per term, five terms per year, and 80% are active duty. The other 20% are family members and dependents. Great, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, thank awesome. you. Well, uh, now that I am so glad that we had the opportunity to have you visit with all of our college representatives and find out what programs and services we have available, I also want to talk to you about your VA benefits. Now, if your spouse is wanting to transfer their GI Bill benefits to you, 
The first thing is they do have to be active duty for a minimum of six years. And then at the time of transfer, they do have to commit to an additional four-year service obligation. So if they're wanting to do that, the first thing they probably want to do is talk to their retention, make sure to see how much time they have left in service, and if they need to extend or re-enlist before they actually transfer the benefits. Then the only process they have to do is go into Mill Connect go in and transfer the benefits to you, and then you just have to go to the VA website, fill out the uh, VA form 22-1990E, and obtain the certificate of eligibility, take that to your college, and you'll be able to use the benefits. Okay, this time we're gonna end this show today. I wanna to thank Ms. Ferguson and Ms. Smith for having us here today to tell you all about what we have to offer in the education services and how great a place this actually is for anybody coming to Fort Riley, soldier or uh, family members. So please, when you show up here, even before you show up, do your research, contact these people and all, all these colleges and allow them the opportunity to let you further your education. And join us next week. We'll be live on Thursday at 12 o'clock where the Department, or where the Director of Emergency Services uh, will tell you all about the do's and the don'ts and the regulations here on Fort Riley when you first arrive to keep you out of trouble the first couple of days that you're actually here. So I wanna throw a real quick shout out to our first responders that keep Fort Riley a great place to live, train, educate, deploy from, and come home to. Where there is no mission too difficult and no sacrifice too great. Duty first. Service always. With a smile. <laughs>